Morning. So it's been just over a week and I've got a few bits to catch you up on. I haven't really done much since being here. The weather has been drab, as we know. Storm Eunice has been, has been playing games. And we already know that it's a lot colder and wetter up in Manchester than it is in London. So I've barely left the house. <laughs> but I wanted to pick up from where we left off. And firstly, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the love on my last vlog. It's really nice to like have you guys support with that video and yeah just have you guys like just being great so zipped up all my stuff we left london i did film some footage i'm like looking through it now but i just thought that last vlog should end like that i don't know why i just was like yeah this is how it should end um weirdest thing was um getting a ticket to manchester and for the first time just buying a single instead of a return like bitch i'm not coming back to london what the and this whole week, I've been feeling really weird. Like, I still don't feel like I'm at home. I, as in, like, I still don't feel like I live here. Because whenever I've come up to Manchester to, like, visit, I've been here for, like, a stretch of, like, one or two weeks. I keep saying to my boyfriend, like, I'm not going home this time. But we both still think that, like, I don't know, by the end of next week, I'm going back to London. <laughs> It's so weird. It literally feels like I'm staying in an Airbnb at the moment. I don't have much of my stuff here either, so that's probably why. But yeah, super weird going on the trainline.com or the trainline app and buying a single ticket to Manchester. I think that's when I was like, rah, like this is actually happening. <laughs> So yeah, did that. We had to scramble to catch the train. Unfortunately, we'd fallen on. So basically there's like trains quite regularly, but then after like a certain train, I think it's after like the quarter past train or something, there's a whole hour until the next train. And we'd fallen on that last train. And if we didn't catch that, we'd be fucked because we had to get to Manchester in time to pick up my keys, sort out my storage unit, like check it out and sign all the papers and then have the delivery guys meet us and unload everything before the storage unit closed. Somehow, cause basically <laughs> the day I moved out was Thursday, but I could have moved out on Friday, but I just wanted to get out of there and get stuff popping. And I didn't want it to be like, I've only got that one day to do stuff and something went wrong. So luckily we moved on Thursday and the storage unit here, Thursday is the one day that it's open till 8 PM. So thank you universe. But yeah, it was a scrap. We literally almost missed the train. We were so stressed and then we got on the train and it was Rambo. <laughs> it was so packed. And then we got off the train into an Uber and this guy didn't have, he'd lost his like card to be able to leave the train station. <laughs> we were like, oh my God. It was his first ever Uber ride as well. So that was funny. But yeah, I came to the flat, picked up my keys, went storage, got all of that done. Just, I think we we stayed until half eight, but the guy that worked at the storage was super lovely. He was kind enough to just like wait the extra like 20 minutes, half hour. After all of that, we came home and just sat down because we were just exhausted. And I feel like the last week and a bit, that's what we've just been knackered. And I got my period on top of it all, so. And we just got our first takeaway in the flat. Oh my God, there's so many options. There's a fully vegan Chinese place. That's what I got on the first night here so good so good i've still got to go to storage we haven't got anything oh i keep saying we like i live alone it's so weird like i, I feel like i'm conditioned to say we so yeah i still got, i think i'm gonna go storage today because i haven't got anything in this flat really that's mine apart from like my bed sheets a few like skincare products my lamps <laughs> my lighting because that is key can you tell that it's too early for me to be vlogging right now <laughs> i need the caffeine to kick in all right i'm just gonna roll the footage guys got a little secret for you it's my first uber trip finally done Look what time it is. Do you know what time we got up at this morning? 6 a.m. And we didn't go to bed until, what, two? What, half one? We've literally just got back and had a shower and now we're sitting down. This is crazy, but I'm so relieved that it's done. Do you know what? I'm just gonna leave the link to the removals, guys, because they were absolutely incredible. And I'm not being paid to say this. They were just suggested to me by the storage company that I'm using. They were legends. But yeah, they were honestly incredible. And they're just generally like lovely guys as well, so. Barrett removals, chef's kiss. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm feeling super humbled and super happy and just grateful that I'm like able to do this. I still don't believe this is real. Like I feel like 
I feel like I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and be back in the flat in London, like wishing that this was a real dream. Wait, wishing that, how, what am I saying here? Wishing you were here. Wishing that this was real. But I also feel like when I wake up here tomorrow, I'm gonna be really confused. I've got the projector, we're gonna chill out, watch a movie, order some food, baby. I just wanted to show you guys the view before I leave you. Look. Ah. Sometimes I can't believe this is my life. Hey guys, I'm on my period, so I'm not feeling great, hence why I haven't been vlogging. But I wanted to show you guys some stuff that I ordered because I thought it would be appropriate for the moving vlogs. I ordered a drying rack because the ones I had were broken. I was just holding on to them until I moved here because I didn't want to have to carry them with me. Since when a drying rack is so expensive, like clothes sources, I saw on Amazon, like loads of them were like 50, 60 quid. I saw this one and it was like 20 pounds and I thought it was like kind of aesthetic, you know, because it was like copper. I mean, that's quite cute. I had never seen one of these before and it, it matches the house quite nicely, the kitchen and the floor and stuff. But yeah, this one was like 20 something pounds as well, which is defo cheap than the other ones that I've seen, so I thought I'd get it. Oh, it does feel a bit flimsy though. It does feel a bit flimsy. But at least now, oh, that's pretty cute, isn't it? But at least now I can do a proper clothes wash, which is exciting because all my stuff, like my clothes and stuff, are still in storage. So, um, oh, that's actually, that's actually really nice. It looks quite bougie. Yeah, because all my stuff is still currently in storage. I have literally taken, I think I've been here for a week now. I've been so exhausted. I just haven't been able to do anything. And because my stuff's all in storage and the weather's been so grim as well, I just haven't <laughs> gone there to go and get anything. So I've been wearing like the same, like four pieces of clothing. But it's fine. We're getting there. I've got my my thingy to wash now. I have washed stuff. Don't, don't get it twisted. Um, oh, that's really cute. Bougie that and you can hang stuff on the hangers which I also don't have I don't even have hangers I legit feel like I'm living in someone else's house or like staying at an Airbnb or something it's so weird also got some chopping boards which we love oh, I love this kitchen so much I actually have a splash back now we didn't have a splash back in my old kitchen so food would just get stuck to the wall and like it was just a wall with paint on it so we couldn't really like do anything about it Look at the finish on the, oh, I'm just obsessed. I'm obsessed. I ordered a colander, how exciting. But I thought this one was really cool. <laughs> Sorry, this is so lame, but I am 30 now, so, you know. Anyway, I thought I'd show you what I got from Procook. Guys, I love Procook. Ow, I always slice myself on cardboard. Wow. It is so weird, like the weather outside today is actually, it's like, it's like a very mild hurricane. I've actually been in a hurricane, so I can say that as well. The wind is insane. Anyway, what was I saying? I love Pro Cook. Their, their stuff is like, it's all like kitchenware, but the quality of their stuff is insane. All my stainless steel pans are from there, and I am just obsessed. The other day before I left London, I went into Westfield, I was just walking around. I can't remember what I was doing, but I noticed there was a Pro Cook store there. I did not know that the whole time that I'd been living there. So I went and had a look inside. Oh, there's some chunky bubble wrap. They had these oven dishes and I was like, I, I need those. Like I need them. The oven dishes I had, I'm pretty sure I took them from my mum's house when I left, which was how many years ago. So I thought, oh, let me treat myself. So I got some new ones and they're so beautiful. And I got some oven gloves, oven mitts because of dark oven eh? So that's those, they're so cute. <laughs> so cute. I got, oh, I'm so excited. I got some proper knives. I love a good knife. You guys know that I love to cook. And I just haven't treated myself to any like nice kitchen stuff apart from those pots and pans because I needed them for ages just because I haven't really been able to enjoy being in my kitchen and cooking properly and stuff. But now I'm here, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get all the kitchen stuff and start like really cooking and just making my house at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've just been using like regular table knives to cut everything and it's been oh, You guys know what it's like when you am, am I really having this conversation right now? <laughs> using like a regular knife to try and cut like vegetables and stuff is it literally makes my skin crawl <laughs> And yeah, my my big big knife had like a rubber handle and it was all peeling away And it was just like a thin bit of metal under that so 
that got thrown away because it was done anyway. Um, and yeah, I treated myself to two big knives. I'm so excited. Oh, that is bloody beautiful. Oh, look at the handle on that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I love it. I love that it's black and dark. I've also ordered a new kettle and toaster. I've really spoiled myself. I've really just been like, do you know what, Tash, Tasha? Don't, like, let's not call me Tash. That's not my name. Do you know what, Tasha? You fucking deserve it, all right? Did you hear that? It looks so sharp. Oh, there's a bit of weight to it. <laughs> this is my thumbnail, like. See, this is the dangerous part when ProCook sends you like their book full of promotions because this is where you just, look at all those knives. I, oh, do you know how much I would love? Look at that, the black and the gold. Oh, oh, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. I hope you had a nice Valentine's Day, by the way. That was like a few days ago. Boyfriend got me a little decanter for my wine. A little homework gift, very cute. Um, and my favorite bottle of wine. So we had a sip of that. What else did we do? I don't even remember, but we went to the cinema to watch Jackass. I fell asleep because my period was coming up and when my period's coming up, I just want to sleep all the time. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys had a good Valentine's Day, whatever you guys did. I don't really celebrate it that much. I don't really care about it that much. I do think it's just like a marketing thing but it is nice to i guess appreciate your loved ones a little bit extra on them days but yeah i hope you guys had a nice one do you know what's so funny i went to go and pick these this parcel up from the concierge um and he saw the pro cook written on the side of the parcel he was like pro cook yeah so he knows the girls that get it get it and the girls that don't don't <clears throat> is that not the most beautiful oven dish you've ever seen i don't even know if it's like giving you the full picture right now but God damn. Maybe you can see the colour a bit better on this one. So pretty. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna fall off. <laughs> video footage does not even do the view foot the view footage <laughs> does not even do the view justice right now it is so beautiful it is so insane like seeing a city but then also mountain peaks just behind it covered in snow and the sunlight is just beaming down on the mountains it's so beautiful we got to the storage unit and it was such a kerfuffle i'm gonna have to rent a van for the day so that we can do it properly just because the way everything's packed, it's really hard to like find what you need. So we need to like basically move all the stuff right at the front of the storage out, which is mostly just bags full of clothes. And then from there we can kind of decide, I can kind of decide what I'm gonna do with the rest of my things. Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna bring my furniture in here just because I might only be here for six months, so we shall see. I'm going out later, so I'm like contemplating if I should carry on this vlog now or if I should just chill, get ready to go out and then continue the rest of it tomorrow because there's no way I'm gonna be able to like tidy everything up and give you guys a flat tour today. I'm so sorry, I feel like I keep teasing it. It's so annoying. But yeah, I've got like parcels to open. I had to order another like um, edge brush and gel because I couldn't reach mine in the storage unit. I need to open my kettle and toaster as well. They've been here for a couple of days now and I've just been saving them. <laughs> there's so much stuff and the kitchen's a mess and I just don't know if it's worth carrying on the vlog today. Or oh, it doesn't even look like that much, but I've kind of given you a sneak peek. We've got bags full of clothes, clothes on the bed, clothes on the floor. That all needs to get sorted. I did grab some hangers from the storage unit, so I have got some hangers to hang my stuff up now. Maybe I should film that right now. Just me putting my, I don't have time. It's so weird as well. We don't have a full body mirror in the flat. It is furnished to a degree, but there is not a full body mirror in here. So it's like, it's really weird. Like not being able to see my full outfit. But I think I'm gonna just put this mirror up on here. We can at least do that. I feel like it's gonna mess up the wall though, which kind of scares me. But you know what? We've got to do what we've got to do sometimes, don't we girls? Ooh, it's quite slippery that. 
Yes! Okay, that is so much better now. There's a mirror in here and I can kind of see, I can kind of see my outfit like, oop. <laughs> Yay, that's a start. Also brought some of the plants back to try and salvage. Not sure how that's gonna go, but we're gonna try. I'm gonna have to go because I can't vlog properly right now and I need to figure out an outfit and I literally just scrambled for any clothes that were kind of like, I mainly just got jackets because I'm like, it's cold out, it's cold in Manchester right now. So mostly what you guys are gonna see are my jackets if I need to shoot. Um, potentially I just need to order some new clothes. I just farted, I don't know if any of you guys heard that. <laughs> the one and only nice actually that Ooh, it's quite bougie gain well i need to order my shampoo and conditioner as well because i ain't got any hair and it's getting to that point where i'm gonna need to wash my hair um and there's only one shampoo and conditioner that i ever want to use at the moment i gotta go i'm sorry <laughs> i'm a mess i'm a mess i'm a mess